Ah, there we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I can see my microphone is a little bit on the loud side. I'm just gonna move that. There we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a little bonus stream today. And uh, today we're gonna run back and gonna have a look at the Blood Diamond run. And many of you were very confused about it, I can see in chat. And um, um, BPK seems to have got it. It is, in fact, a video, I, a follow-up. Um, I'm doing a follow-up on the on a video I did about half a year ago, back in August. Um, which revolves around hunting uh, or killing NPCs for low-temperature diamonds and selling them for profit. So we are killing people for diamonds, making them blood diamonds. That's what we're going to do today. And uh, because the reason why this is interesting now um, is because that with the recent changes to the whole BGS, as we've seen the whole, that, that created whole, the whole mining rush, some stations will pay like extreme prices for these rare materials, including low temperature diamonds. So previously you would be able to get, let's say a hundred thousand for these on the black market. Now, with the recent changes in this patch, um, you can get around, I think, let's have a look, have a look here. Am I at a station that should have a black market? Um, of course, I can't see the prices because I don't have anything. Wonderful. Um, but you should be able to get like 700 and, um, 750, 760,000 per diamond now. So it's about seven times as much as we could before, which is very healthy. Um, yeah, I would love to pirate for opals. However, I have not been able to find any opals. It seems that the NPCs are only going for those lovely, lovely diamonds. But, um... I'm just going to check quickly that the ship is ready to go. We have limpets, we have a destination, so uh, let's get our ass out of the station. Robert says that they've noticed that the spawn of NPC ships in anarchy systems to pirate have dropped significantly, but maybe it's just... Yeah, I've had some bad luck, but at least we'll see if I can get any kind of, uh, of luck out of it today. I mean, I have spotted... When I was out testing, I spotted a few, um, a few Type Sevens and Pythons, and they can easily hold like eighty uh, Type Sevens. I've seen hold up to two hundred diamonds, so they're definitely still out there. I'm just gonna turn the game volume down slightly. It is a little bit on the loud side, I think. At least that we can have the voices it can still be a little louder. There we go. There we go. Um, we have Lone Star here says that he's just got his kill back up for mining and he got <laughs> attacked, robbed and murdered. Um, the best way um, to protect yourself is to just go into a, uh, a random spot in the rings. Um, stay out of, uh, um, stay out of the resource extraction sites. They will kill you pretty quickly. Uh, of course you will be in danger when heading back to the station. So there's really not a lot you can do other than just run. You need a Thargoid probe, the best way to get them. I always pick them up from... Um, um, there's a crashed uh, Thargoid ship somewhere around in the vicinity of the Pleiades sector. I can't remember the exact system. Um, I have a video on it somewhere. Um, but there's a crashed ship where there are just probes lying around the floor, on the ground. That's where I always go to, uh, to pick them up. But Lone Star, if NPCs will only spawn the moment you jump in. Um, so basically just make sure you have nothing in your cargo hold will drop in. And if you log out and log back in, then they will respawn and then they will attack you. So the trick is to, if you're taking a break in the middle of your mining session, go to a station. Don't lock out the belt if you don't have any we weapons to defend yourself with, because otherwise you will get attacked by pirates. 
They are sensors, not probes. Oh, damn it, probes. Um. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, the Thargoid probes. Uh, go to the Pleiades sector, find your favorite um, ammonia world, and run around it until you find a, a specific signal source. I think it is threat level two, but don't hold me. Don't don't. Uh, I'm not 100 percent on the exact threat, but. Uh, there are specific threat levels you need to look for around Ammonia Worlds, like pretty close to Ammonia Worlds. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Signals, they are a pain to get. Okay, it seems like we are in uh, in system. So I'm just going to get a little bit of distance. We already have the first ships here. Eagles and Sidewinders. Probably not what we're looking for. Daniel asks, how do I not get burned out of Elite? Well, I do play other things. It's just most of it all off camera. Dolphin. Uh, I don't think that's a mining ship, but we're going to give it a go anyway. I mean, I do have periods in Elite where I pretty much only log in, do my video, do videos on it, and then, then log out. Don't really play off camera that much. Um, no, he doesn't have anything. Um, so I have my off times as well, like everybody else. But then I just play, spend more time playing other games when I'm not uh, recording. Okay, what else do we have? Eagles and Sidewinders. Eagles and Sidewinders. Okay, I think I'm just going to... Oh, lots of Imperial Eagles. That's a lot of small ships. Viper. But normally if I, I mean, if I get, um, get really hooked on a game, then I'll stay in that game for years. I played EVE Online for like seven years after I got probably hooked. Um, so, <laughs> Quite a bit of enjoyment out of that. Trademark 2. No. No mining equipment. I'm looking for, for ships with mining lasers on them. Alliance Crusader, there's another Crate Mark II there. Oh, we got a diamond back. Where is it? Oh, it's at the sun. Oh, it's not the sun, it's a star. Let's see if we got a mining ship this time. Nope, nope, he's not a mining ship either. Oh, it's a Type 9. Where is he? There he is. Homer Simpson to the Type 9. Come on, have mining equipment. Yeah, he has a mining laser. And a refinery. We got ourselves a got we got ourselves a good one here. Need to get myself behind him. Gotta come in pretty hot here. Ah, too fast. Come on, don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. There he is. Got him. Okay. 
It's time to catch ourselves with type 9. That shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, immediately deploy weapons, target him, target, get the weapons out. Get a few shots in on him. Switch over to the manifest scanner. Let's scan his cargo hold. Okay, he's returning fire. Moving pips over to shield. Got a scan, checking his cargo. 260 low temperature diamonds. Look at that, guys. That's a lot of money there. Okay, then next up, gonna have a look at his weapon loadout. Weapon. He has beam lasers, he has a cannon, and a pulse laser. I'm gonna take out his beam lasers. So first on, I'm gonna use my pulse lasers to take down his shields. Sorry if I'm not paying too much attention to chat right now. I need to pay attention to take this guy down. Oh, not to take him down actually. To disable his ship what we want to do now is first to get his shields down um, and then we want to disable as many as his weapons as possible but not all of them we need to have have at least one weapon left um but that should hopefully be fairly easy so he's just sitting there right in front of me i actually want to get some distance to him because i need to get my missiles a chance to actually hit him oh did he really just dodge the missiles in a type 9 Okay, beam lasers, the one beam laser is down. Let's take the other one. The other beam laser is down. He has a pulse laser that's badly damaged and a cannon. We're gonna take the pulse laser as well, so he only has kinetic weapons. And then he's pretty much good to go. Nope. Didn't hit the pulse laser. I gotta get myself around him. It's on his belly, so... Gonna wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. That's a good shot. Good. Pulse laser is down. His cannon is still up, so he has very limited weapons. So now, I'm gonna switch over. Get my hatch breaker out. And my collectors. So what he's going to do now is he's going to put himself in whatever position he deems to be the most optimal for his weapons. And he's just going to sit still. So right now you can see he's just sitting there. He's firing his single cannon at me. And while we're doing that, we're just stealing his cargo. <laughs> Ah, wonderful. And we have all pips to shield, and I have prismatic shields, and... I mean, he's not... He, I can sit, I can tank this guy for days. All we have to be careful of is, eventually, he is going to be get tired of it, and he's going to begin to run away. So we need to keep an eye on his distance. When he begins to move, we need to switch back to our lasers... Fire at him a bit, try to re-engage him so you feel, oh, the fight is still on, and then we can, then he will go back to that position where he is right now, and we can then steal more of his stuff. This should be a money-making video. Well, what do you think I've been doing today? <laughs> I've been, I've rendered that video today. It will go out sometime next week. I just figured I would put it out early for those of you guys who uh, who come across the stream, or oh, for people who want to watch it back later. Hatch 
And he's just persistent there, still sitting, firing at me with his little cannon. And he's barely made a dent in my shield. Now, even if he did reboot and repair, we would just do the whole thing over again, take down his shield, and I have plenty of missiles. Um, so I can just sit here and steal his stuff. I mean, remember guys, that's 160,000 per diamond. So this guy is pretty much going to fill up my cargo hold, yielding me like 150 million. He actually has more than I can carry. Some NPCs will do reboot and repair, but it depends on their um, combat rank. And since this guy is only an expert, <laughs> I mean, he's not going to do a lot. I know I can sell. I can sell for 760,000. So uh, here we can see an, uh, an expert combat pilot in action. Clearly an experienced miner. I'll show you when we're done here how I find a good place to sell them. I'm gonna get a few more out of his cargo here. I, I... Nathan says, why can't I see just a black screen for me? Try it. I don't know if you can hear anything. Refresh the stream. They're definitely a lot easier than mining it yourself. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot easier than mining anything yourself. Now he's still at it. What are we up to? Almost 50. Yes, uh, so the video that goes out, um, the video that goes out here next week that I rendered today, it haven't been uploaded yet and I still need to like thumbnail it and tag and all that stuff. Um, but that video I described how you f you find the system and how you find the best place to sell them because i already described um this method in a previous video i did about half a year ago where i go over the builds and i go over the basic tactics so the video that goes out here i just i try to spend a lot more time i spend like majority of the video i think is spent on describing where you find it and the best place to collect them and the best place to sell them Again, um, so it's kind of a supplement, supplementary or follow-up video to the one I did back in August. So I would really recommend if you haven't watched that from back in August, a good place to start. I go over builds and and tactics in that, and then the one that comes out here. I also show a run so you can see what's how this works. Um, but but overall, I spend most of my time in the video to showcase all the like fine details of selecting the right system and so what you need to look for. And of course, I've done all that before the stream, so we didn't have to sit and do that here. Um, I have around... That reminds me, I should probably make more room here. Uh, let's just drop like, I don't know, 50. I'll get rid of the limpets here. I have I have 208 tons of cargo. So I'll just fill up my cargo hold. And uh, I mean, he has more diamonds than I can carry. So. Um... Full in one pull. Exactly. 
that's that's actually pretty good i've normally i would be hunting like diamondback so they would hold like like 20 or 40 or 60 from an asp explorer maybe um at a time so so getting a type 9 here in the first go is pretty good Oh, my collectors died. Yeah, the Type 7 can have like a hundred, yeah. And I mean, that's a really good haul as well. I mean, a hundred, that's 75 million right there. And look at this, he's about made it through half a ring now. And if we get into any kind of problems, I did fit, I think, let me see. Uh, fire groups, let's see. Did I fit? Uh, no, I, okay, I ended up not fitting a shield cell bank, so. But again, I think we're good. Did he stop firing? Oh, he just missed a bit. How are we doing here? How many low temperature diamonds are out? Oh, we can get a few more. It's important not to hatch break him too often because you can get you can hatch break him quicker. Then your collector limpets can collect them and as soon as they eject they do begin to take damage and will it will degrade over time so you you risk losing some that's why i'm i'm not just constantly hatch breaking him until he's out of cargo i'm trying to take it in small bursts to uh, to avoid any of them getting destroyed I think we can take a few more uh, hash breakers here. You should be good. Where are we at? Where are we at on our inventory? Oh, look at that. Mm. All the low temperature diamonds. All the stolen cargo. Nom and nom and nom. Let's see. I mean, do we have in space? Uh, that's okay. We have a lot of limpets. I mean, we have nine collectors out, so we can do this fairly quickly. Thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. Uh, hold on. Do I still have my sister name? Can no, I do not. Um, let me see if I can find the system name for you guys. There it is. There you go. That is a really good system right now. But remember that this kind of things, they change all the time. That's why I did a video that I'm doing a video on how to locate these systems yourself. Because it's a good system now, but in a month, it might not be. Braden Fields asks, just playing Elite, just start playing Elite Dangerous first. Welcome to the game. Um, can someone explain to, to me what's going on? Um, I'm wrapping a NPC for my uh, for low temperature diamonds. We found a, a big, fat, juicy credit pinata, and now we're just hitting his cargo hold and stealing everything he got, and <laughs> and, uh, and we're gonna sell it for profit, and for a lot of profit. Oh, come on, we must be done soon. Oh, I need to get rid of more limpets. Let's get rid of another 40 limpets. Good evening. Yeah, exactly. You have to know how to how to do... Um, yeah, they were do, doing... Yes, Alex, this is definitely live. 
Um, yeah, you do know how to. You do have to know how to smuggle into a station so that you don't get uh, get caught and destroyed. Uh, I am in uh, GMT plus one from Denmark. Why not disable his drives? Okay, so when I was shooting at him, he was moving. If I disable his drives, he will begin spinning and continuously just uh, hurtling through space in whatever direction he was heading. Making it very difficult for me to um, to collect him. This is a lot easier. Just let him sit there. Let him do his shooting. Uh, let him think that he is now winning the battle. He's slowly taking down my shield. Look, he's already taken down almost a ring. Um... But I think we're about done with around 50 or so, then we are uh, good to go home. So, never disable his drives, because if you do that, again, he will just start spinning through space, and he will most likely be moving faster than the safe pickup speed, meaning that when your collector limpets come back, they will crash into your cargo hatch, destroy the limpet, or not, dest not destroy the limpet, will destroy the, uh, the diamonds. What is that? Oh, those are... Those are all my limpets, look. These are all the limpets I injected. I ejected. <laughs> That'll be getting to explode. Yeah, I was like, wait, that, that doesn't sound right. I just normally don't sit around for this long that the limpets actually begin to explode. Under attack. Oh no. We gotta listen for that uh, sound warning saying no cargo detected. That means we're done. Well, there's still, still be like, like 30 left. Oh, he had more diamonds than we could carry. Yeah, check cargo space. We're still good. Still a bit of room here. This is this is an NPC. I mean, he's dumb. Look at him. He's sitting there firing his little pop cannon at my prismatic shields here. Basically doing nothing. <laughs> oh, Collector's died. I mean, do we have it space right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Get more. No, no, he will. I like that this is their version of an expert this is a uh, this is expert npc fighting combat tactics for you here right right now look at all those diamonds floating around there pew 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 yeah but they guys you have to remember the prices that you are seeing those are on the uh like the official market this is not going to be sold off the commodity market this have to go on the black market and prices there are different yes i definitely still do enjoy playing it it's it's situations like this that just makes me smile so you can sit here and just i rob an npc completely blind I have nine collectors and a single hatchbreaker. Okay, how many do we still need? We need...
<laughs> Please do not kill Homer Simpson. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Voted chat. <laughs> do he live or do he die? <laughs> no, I'm not in open. <laughs> we have one vote for live, one vote for kill, two votes for kill. Should die, kill him, kill him. We have, I mean, two votes for well, we have five, three votes. Four votes. Five votes. I think the majority is voting for kill right now. Spam kill. <laughs> That goes by limpets. Just gonna do one more hatch break. And then jettison those two. There we go. We're full. And we still have limpets. Okay. Let's have a bit of fun with this guy then. Since you guys voted to uh, to kill him. Gotta see if we can get a few shots in on his drives. Disable his drive. And then we'll just leave him floating through space. So I can show you guys what happens if you... Get around here at the back. We need to get his shields down first, of course. Oh, hold on. I'm targeting his refinery now. There we go. That's his drives. Oh, that's why I'm not so mobile. I have my cargo hold open still. So we can get around behind him again. Okay, we need more missiles here to get down his... Uh... Oh, come on, come on. Get a lock. Oh, no, he died. Look at all those diamonds floating in space. Oh, it's a ooh, chemical manipulators. Oh, I'm out of collectors, so... Where? Oh well. So now we head back and sell all the loot. Hold on, do we have enough fuel? I don't think I should probably optimize the build a little bit here. Yeah, we do not have the fuel. So, um, we have to do a little fuel stop here. That's going to be interesting. I didn't fit a fuel scoop. So we're going to do a fuel stop here in the system. 
Um, because we had an anarchy system, hopefully it's a little bit easier to get into the station without uh, getting our ship blown up. Synthesize some limpets. Yeah, but I don't have any cargo hold. I don't want to jettison my, uh, my precious, precious limpets. Or my uh, precious diamonds here. Oh, gonna use this planet here. A little bit too fast here. Gonna use the gravity well on this planet here to slow me down. And back in again. Oh, ah, jump. We could, could we do that? Plus 25% to distance. Would we be able to make it to the system if we did that? We would actually. Okay, you know what? We're going to do that instead. That's a lot more fun. Oh, hold on. Um, <laughs> no, I don't have any heat sinks, but we could go stealth without heat sinks. Yeah, um, it's it's the video is still valid. Um, the method is still the same. The build is still the same. Um, the method of locating the, sy the system list listed under that video is outdated, and the cell location part is also outdated. That's what I'm updating in uh, the video next week. Hold on, I forgot to start my uh, my chatbot. Just realized. Just do that real quick here. Connect. Connect. There we go. What's the fine if I get scanned? Um, the <laughs> a bit. <laughs> It doesn't matter if I reset the route. Um, I am increasing my jump range. Um, but the main thing I get is because I'm increasing my jump range, I'm using less fuel. There we go. I only need two. I can get to the system now and just one jump here. Lovely. Gotta love that. No, hold on, that's not the right one. That one. And now we need to pay attention to local chat so we don't have pirates sneaking up behind us. We don't want to get pirated with a cargo hold full of diamonds, do we? Oh, I should got to put some pips over to shield so I can get that shield up and running again. Not that it's going to matter. We're going to... Whoops. Not paying attention here. We've got to drop it again in a little bit anyway, so... Uh, 
I would just visit random pristine ice rings <clears throat> until you find an opal hotspot. Yeah, exactly. I do not want to get robbed with all this, the diamonds that I've acquired by stealing them. By reception, yeah. The pirate with the cargo hold full of stolen cargo got pirated and got his cargo hold stolen. Okay, so where's the entrance on this thing? Probably plant site. So I'm on purpose gonna shoot past the station a bit here. To get myself aligned up with the entrance. Which I hope is... No, where is it? Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Don't you dare steal my stuff. This is my stuff. What's he flying, by the way? Uh, okay, Fettel Dropship. It's a little bit more interesting. Elite Fettel Dropship. That's a little bit more interesting than what I would like to try and engage. But Luckily, he shouldn't be too difficult to avoid. Ah, oh, come on. Almost had it there. There we go. Okay, I can see the entrance now. Okay, here we go. Full pips to shields. Okay, we are in range, so we're gonna request docking nice and early. And keeping our heat nice and low. Don't boost, don't rush it. We're now getting close, so time to silent run. And just cruise. Nice and steady. And turn in the heat signature back online. Perfect. Also, most of the time I overshoot the landing pad when starting running because I don't slow down doing the entrance just to get in as quickly as possible. There we go. And little little bump there, but You're on the deck. Clear to disembark. Station facilities are at your disposal. Should we just quickly check the normal commodity market just to see? So here we can see indeed they are um we can sell it for one million here. Which is nice. But uh, we're going to head into the black market here. Prices are lower, obviously. Mm, I like that. Well, that was pretty straightforward, wasn't it? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Need more limpets. Hey, I broke five billion. <laughs> Wonderful. And I've been streaming for 50 minutes, so... A little bit of a pre-stream and stuff like that, so just shy about 45 minutes I think this took. 
Uh, let's get 150 limpets again. It worked quite well last time. <laughs> let's see if we can find ourselves. Yeah. Uh, where's the system? Boom. <laughs> Trump could build a wall with that. <laughs> yeah, but walls are kind of pointless in space, aren't they? Yeah, let's see if we are as lucky here with our next target. Probably not. That was a really lucky hit, getting the, the Type 9 so early on. It's also really annoying if you have like 150 diamonds already and you just need another 50 and then you get a type 9 and yeah. Come on, Maslock. I know this is not the fastest ship, but still. Yeah, no, I, I am considering if I should build a, um, a cutter for it, but again, I don't know. I don't do this that often. It's just, you know, it's it's a fun pastime. It's when when passenger missions get too boring or something like that, um, then I enjoy this. Oh, I'll probably set my firing group back. We don't need all the missile racks right now. Matt says, just joined. What's going on? Yeah, piracy is going on. We are stealing stuff. We just sold our first load for 158 million. Gonna go out and get another one. Yeah, cause I mean, this is the same with as, as Dong Rosses. I, I don't always do... Uh, I mean... Sure, there's some good money in this, but it's a hell of a lot more fun than um, than running past the missions. There was a lot of waiting around in the last run because we got a Type 9 so early on. Um, so we just had to sit and wait for his cargo hold to be emptied. But normally there's a lot, it's a lot more engaging, there's a lot more gameplay around it. Um, Have a good and enriching night. See you in the black. See you. Uh, good prices on void opals. Uh, I always use Inara because, again, these things move around. And they move around about every week. So it's really difficult to, uh, to say, go to this specific station. Um, I would go to, uh, go to Inara and uh, find the information about where it is good right now. Yeah, well, you can't buy them, obviously. You can only sell, obviously. Okay, Diamondback Scout. They can have diamonds on board. Um, often not a lot. Um, not sure if it's worth it. But let's see if he actually... He does come from a ring planet with a resource extraction site. And he does not carry any mining equipment at all. So probably not. Orca. Unlikely to be a mining ship, but we're going to scan it anyway. Just to... Um, to be sure. I'm nothing there. It's an ASP scout.
he actually has a mining laser and a refinery. So we got a mining asp here. So get behind him. I don't know where he's heading though. Looks like he's heading away. He's still caught in the gravity well. So we're going to dive in right behind him here. I'm not quite behind him yet. There we go. Now we got him. An Asp Scout probably does not holding that many diamonds, but I mean, he should be an easy target. We don't need to worry about taking down his weapons because he's going to have so few weapons that it doesn't really matter. Get that manifest scanner off. Does he even carry normal weapons? He has 15. Oh yeah. Okay, he at least just turns his attention towards me, so that's good. Wait, he's still running. Oh, he's coming back now. He just wanted to get uh, some distance, I guess. Yeah, he ran out of range. Just let him come back in. Oh, he does have weapons. Nice. All pips to shield. Okay, his game low might be a little low. I can turn the game volume up a bit. But that's too low. I'm just gonna get a few of them out. Because there's no reason to get all of the limpets out. Four should be more than enough to take care of this small amount of cargo. No cargo detected. Ah, so that means his cargo hold is empty. So now we just need to collect it. So you know what I'm actually going to do? We don't care about him anymore. Going to move in over the block of diamonds here. Making it easier for my collectors to do their thing. Thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. Need to be sitting still when they return, otherwise they're gonna destroy themselves. Johnny asks, where are we selling diamonds again? Um... I was selling them in, you see here, what's the name of the system? I was selling them in LFT37, but again, remember guys, this changes, this changes all the time. Next week, this system could be useless. Um, Okay, just for the engineering materials, gotta get rid of this. Nice. 
Wait, is this guy just... Actually said that a few weeks ago he bought a secret lack of mega chair. Very happy with it. I'm glad. And I followed the link, so I hope you got a small commission. I do. I get I think it's around eight percent or something, so it's it's not insignificant. So thanks a lot for that. Uh Fig Jam asked if we get station market. No, you get I think it's twenty five percent less than the, the main market. Just gonna pick up uh, some engineering materials here while we are at it. Oh, I have a lot of stuff here on my ignore list. I should probably move that. We get everything. Okay, small hole. We managed to get 13 out of him. Some of them, I guess, got destroyed or something. I don't know. I have no idea when EDDB is going to update. I would use Inara. And hello to Setmaster over on uh, on Twitch. Okay. Uh, let me see. I have, have a hit look. I guess we're about done here. Nothing else can get out of this. But I agree. Hopefully they're going to update EDDB soon. Okay. How far are we from the main star? System is empty. Just give it some time for stuff to spawn in. Bust says, I'm having a hard time finding something fun to do in the game. Flying a python, trying everything, what should we do? Um, find yourself some build. It could be for anything. Doesn't matter what it is. But find yourself a build that you think is interesting. That could be for PvP, for pirating, this kind of stuff. Mining, something. And then just overdo it. Completely overdo it. Oh, we have ourselves another miner here. Um, with, like... Balls to the walls, engineering, that kind of stuff. Um, that's usually pretty fun. Okay, let's get ourselves a diamond back. Oh, should probably try to pay attention now that I'm interdicting. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. Oops. Really fighting with him here. Come on. Okay, get the lasers out. Ah, get this ship under control. Boost after him. And attack him. And now we can scan him. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I didn't get the scan. Ah, 
14, really? <sighs> okay, what is he carrying in terms of weapons? Multi cannon, pulse laser. What's a point defense? Wait, is he still running? Come back here. I think this guy is actually trying to run. He's not engaging me. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Damn it, I hate these, they're so small. Yeah, there we go. Now he's turning. And he's firing chaff. Okay, I think he's returning fire now. These smaller ships, I don't really bother up with the... Um... Yeah, fill your hole with gold next time. <laughs> His point defense. Okay, we have to take care of his point defense then. That's annoying. Fire all the chaff you want. Okay, this is going to be difficult. Here, yeah, eat some missiles. Oh, ah, come on. I'm messing everything up here. Uh, point defense, okay. Now the trick is, can we get down his point defense without destroying him? Okay, his point defense managed to get the missiles down, so we're gonna increase the volley size. He is turning out to be a real pain in the ass. shields down there we go that's one point defense but also half of his ship so let's see if he survives another attack on his point defense I'm gonna try to avoid using my laces now is it worth the hassle for a few tons no it's not, and I managed to kill him. I should probably not have engaged him now that I saw he was carrying um, two uh, point defense, which would probably not have been worth it, but uh, yeah.
But hey, we're still gonna steal some diamonds off him. I think we actually managed to get most of the diamonds out of his hole. We had 13 to start with, so, so far we got 5. Okay, so we got like what's incoming 4, I think. So we got 9, that's okay. Could have been better. Yeah, okay. Not the best run, but... I mean, nine crystals is nine crystals. Thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. And yeah, as uh, as David says, at that point it was just pride because that guy was annoyed and he was gonna go down. I've set the stream to X4. Oh, did I forget to change it on YouTube? I should have changed it at least. Oh yeah, it does those X4. Sorry, thanks a lot for informing me. That has been updated. Changes of changes are being saved. Now uh, we are unsaved. Okay, now it should be listed correctly. Sorry about that. Just forgot to change it from the last stream. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? What do we get here? Asp Scout, I want something a little bit bigger than an Asp Scout. I'm tired of these small. Let's see if we can wait. Let's wait around and see if we don't get we can't get something like a, a deal back, a kill back, or a uh, type six, type seven, something like that. Python maybe. That could work too. Low level Python maybe. Cobra could also be a mining ship. Just gonna point myself towards the star that I most of them. Yes, it is an agricultural anarchy system. Got a viper now. Joachim says Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Um, <laughs> any elite related goodies brought to you by Santa? De Hold on. Federal gunship. Oh, there was an Asp Explorer. That might be worth it. I got a few. Um, I'll show you in a bit. Just gonna try to see if we can catch this guy. And the Asp is flying towards us. That's pretty perfect. Ha, oh, he is far away. But he does not carry any mining equipment, so that was a dot. Oh! There we go. Where is it? Where is it? Is that the sun? Get the interdictor ready. Oh, no shields. What? No, no, there's no mining equipment. It's not a mining ship. Damn it. Aw, makes me sad. 
<laughs> now, you probably can't see it because green screening, so hold on. Ah, you know, it's it's a little bit different. I have a holding in my hand, I have a green um Corvette 3D printed model. Of course you can't see it because green screening. But I guess you can kind of make the outline of a Corvette here. And I don't want to disable the green screen right now. No, blood diamonds is not a new mineable material. It's just because we are... It's low temperature diamonds, but because we are stealing them off NPCs and killing them, it's blood diamonds. Yeah, <laughs> silent running Corvette. <laughs> F scout. Blood comes from priming. Exactly. They're killing people for, for diamonds, so they must be blood diamonds. With the amount of time we said pirating, blood diamonds, killing, stealing. I, this is just asking to get this video demonetized. <laughs> Advertise friendly content. Whee! <laughs> Not a whole lot of luck right now. It's pretty dead. I mean, we could, like, go and hunt scouts, but... Yeah, I'm not necessarily a massive ship, but something bigger than, like, a Type 7, for instance. That would be a good one. He's in a wing. Multi-can heat sink. He does not carry mining equipment, so that's another dot. Oh, thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. And see if I can catch the one in the background. And on Twitch. <laughs> Am I looking for something like... Oh, Clipper. Switch instance. Yeah, maybe. That could maybe work. See what we got here, a clipper. Mm. No mining equipment either. No, I mean, we've seen a few good ships so far. Um, we're really lucky that with the first one we got was a Type 9 with mining equipment. I mean, that is really lucky, I'm not gonna lie. But this is also very unlucky that we're not seeing anything uh, at all right now. Class accelerators. It's an orca. Don't think anyone would be stupid enough to mine in the orca, but let's scan him. Yeah, exactly. We want to make money, run past your missions, um, mine void opals, do this. I think I think this one is named after a Dane. She's called Hannah Sørensen, <laughs> which is a really Danish name. <laughs> Heard anything about Colonia community goals? No, not really. Um, beside mining opals, then passenger missions from uh, Rubigo, Rubigo Mines to uh, Sirius Atmospheric Works. This is also fairly profitable. I mean, this is pretty good as well. 
it's not as consistent, so it's a little bit more about luck. Um, but it is a lot more entertaining, I think. Okay, we gotta change instance. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if we are slightly more lucky this time. Oh, we got a python right away. That's a good sign. Nah, not a mining python. No, I haven't tested hotspot depletions. Get an asp scout. I'm tired of asp scouts. Got an asp scout. Let's take him down just because I want to have to get some diamonds rather than just sit here and wait. Oh, did he have point defense? I don't know. Ooh, that was a quick, uh, quick escape there. Okay, let's just quickly check out his loadout here. He has one point defense. So we might want to take that down. Let's just quickly scan him to see how much he actually carries. Oh, hold on. We got company. Ouch. Deadly, do we want to... Nah, you know what? I don't want to bother with... Uh, with having to kill the, uh, a chieftain. For whatever, how many opals were in... Oh, sorry, diamonds were in an Asp Scout. If it was a bigger ship, I might have taken him down. But... Such a small ship? I'm not gonna bother. Really hitting an unlucky streak here. Oh, he says and, s and spots a type 6. Can it be? Yes, we got ourselves a mining type 6. Oh. No. No, you don't. Yeah, that's the uh, chief from before I should have killed him. Okay, we're gonna escape from this guy, and then we're gonna try to catch the type 6. We're gonna be in a bad position after this interdiction. 
So that's the chieftain taken care of. And we're gonna get back on... Okay, he's still caught in the gravity well, so we might still be able to catch him. Good. Coming in behind him here. We are in, in within range. Yeah, this is a perfect approach. Boom. Got you now. Now we just hope there's no more pirates that comes in and... Oh, the... The box! Oh, the jitters! Oh my god! Oh god, that was a bit... A bit intense there. Yeah, just to try to run. Why are my weapons not firing? There we go. Oh, he's really squishy. He has no shields. We need to be careful with this guy. Ah, 45. That'll do. Wait, does he even have weapons? He has a pulse laser. Come back here and fight me. Oh, there we go. Now he's turning in. Yeah. And if this ship would then slow down... See, now he's lining up behind me and he's beginning to attack. Perfect. Said Master Code. <laughs> what do you mean that will do? That's 45 million. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a nice little hole there. And we were at 22 plus 45. That is 67. We should get up to that. Interdicted Ted, so so we have interdicted Homer Simpson and uh, and Ted Turner. Target cargo dropped. Oh <laughs> Look at the chat. You're not so tough as he's been firing like for a few minutes here on my shields and nothing has happened. I'm just basically sitting with my ass to him. <laughs> he can't even hit. <laughs> Half of his shots miss. It's a stationary anaconda. How do you miss? <laughs> Thanks a lot for the description of YouTube. Oh, he, okay, he's a novice. That explains a lot. Kill for the materials too. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get some engineering materials out of this guy. Under attack. 
What's the best steel we've made? That was actually at the beginning of the stream when we, uh, when the first ship we got was a mining type 9 that was had enough uh, diamonds to basically fill our cargo hold. That was pretty, that was pretty good. I like that. Lots and lots of diamonds. Supposed to get to 67 here, so we still have a bit of a way to go. No cargo detected, so he's now empty. I'll let my um, collectors finish up, because if I begin moving around, they will again, as I, as I said before, they will slam into the, uh, the cargo hatch and destroy the diamonds. Still don't understand how that works, but... Okay. <laughs> yeah, come back here, I'll bite your ankles off. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what's going on in chat right now. Oh, please, collectors, don't die on me now. Three more diamonds. And that is it. Now... It's my turn to fire back. Much better. Ah, oh, thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. <sighs> And now just for the engineering materials, just because we can. Um, these are size 5 collectors. I have three size 5 collectors. And yes, it's overkill. But it's just so nice that they can collect the, uh, all the diamonds so quickly. <laughs> I thought Twitch... Well, Danish were Vikings, so... <laughs> well, uh, let's try it again. Well, Danish were Vikings. Anyway, so... Back to the old ways, right? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> okay, so... Face the star. I can just get back in uh, within range. We're quite far out. Yo, ho! <laughs> and a bottle of rum, exactly. Uh, challenger, nope. Nope, scalp, nope. Don't want to do deal with the small scalps. Waste of time. Wait, is that the guy from before? I think that's the guy from before. If he tries to do something again, I'm gonna have to kill that guy. Unless we are not onto a target somewhere. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. Oh, really? Is that him again? Okay. Sorry, dude. But you're dead now. I'm gonna submit. Oh, wow, that was quick.
<laughs> Look at him run with all the missiles chasing after him. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> he has nothing left. <laughs> Drives, all his weapons are gone. Everything is just gone. Oh, uh, I got you now. <laughs> See, this is why we don't kill his thrusters. Ah, well, let's put him out of his misery. Oh, did he get his shields back in the last second? that thing go <laughs> a single ward shield emitter what was that it the best he got was a precipitated alloy what a waste what a waste <laughs> um Mamp over on Twitch says, thank you for the great videos about Elite Dangerous. Really like them. Keep doing such great videos. Thank you very much, and I definitely will. Uh, okay, so now that we got that guy off our ass, we can go back to the business at hand of stealing diamonds. Dolphin. How far are we from the star? 600, that's okay. Another scout. Yes, Limpus have a one ton mass. Not the best run. 67 diamonds so far. I mean, that's okay. It's around, what, minus 25%? That's a quarter. A quarter, that's... I don't know. Like, just shy of 50 we are up to now. I think that's okay. We've been out here for, what, half and 40 minutes-ish? Oh, type heavy. Type 9, type 9, type 9. Where is he? He's in the star. Oh, what's the FAD? FS interdictor? Oh, no, no, where did he go? Where did he go? There he is. He had mining equipment on. Look at that. There, mining laser. Now he didn't low wake because I, I looked for his wake, but I didn't see it. And we are catching up to him. There we go. We are in range. You are dead. Come to me, shiny diamonds. Tiny, tiny loop pinata. Uh, okay, he is turning to fight us. Oh, dangerous. Well, he is a bit more difficult than what we're used to. Let's just get a manifest scan into this guy. Okay, let's see what he's carrying. Hey, limpets and 
180 tons of diamonds. So that should pretty much be enough to fill up our cargo hold. Okay, his targets... Uh, his target is down. His shield is down. And again, I'm gonna go for the, t the thermal weapons here and try to take out his, uh, his beam lasers. Okay, so they're now out of ammo. But that's okay. I'm just gonna switch over to the second set here. Come on. Ah, they're reloading. Good. That was a beam laser. Let's take down the other beam laser. That was the second beam laser is down. And he has one more there. Gonna kill that as well. Down his shields again. Again, sorry I'm not uh, paying too much attention to chat when I'm pirating here. That's the second beam laser down. He still has a frag cannon, so that's good. So he'll keep fighting us with his frag cannon. Now I want to take down his point defense. Oh, so now he's using his point defense, huh? Are you kidding me? Come on. See, we can get it with our lasers here. But we can't. Yeah. Trying to use the beams, but we can't really get in. This is annoying. We're running out of missiles, too. Got it. There's just one point defense left. No! Gotta chase him. Ah, he high waked. Ah! That sucks. It's funny that he didn't use his point defenses until we were targeting them specifically. We were able to take down his weapons without any hassle. Oh well. Yeah, exactly. Sad days. They have an adder. They can hold diamonds too, but then too small. Oh, 
how far are we from the star? Oh, pretty close. Maybe he forgot he had the. <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to be automatic. Yeah, rails could work too. I'm gonna sc I'm gonna scan the crates here, Bill. I'm not a hundred percent sure. If they can be mining ships, I guess they could. Thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. Yeah, but problem is, um, Menti, I can't deploy my Limpets as long as he has point defense. Because if he has point defense, he's just going to shoot down my Limpets. We had that issue with the previous ship. Yeah, we got one here. Gonna begin turning in here and let him overtake me. As I come in right behind him. There we go. Perfect. Wait, is that another ship interdicting? Oh, I see. Oh, he's in a wing. Okay, fair enough. Why are my pulses not working? Come on. Just gonna make sure this guy turns to engage me. Oh shit, he's already low. Wow, okay. Need to be careful with him now. Okay, he has an eagle with him. Eagle support. No more eagle support. Okay, let's check this guy. Ah, uh, perfect. No. No point defense this time, so let's see how much he's carrying. Twenty-four. Take that. we go no we're not uh... oh thank you Henrik for the host <laughs> yeah you could call this mining for a for a weird enough version of mining he's sitting further away the other guys were like in that 800 900 something he's almost out at 1.1 kilometers second hand mining <laughs> yeah no 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 guys we're not pirating we're just second hand mining <laughs> i'm not exactly sure how many tons each drop but uh i think it's around like five or six seven maybe around that 
I, I normally don't really keep count. I just keep hatch breaking him until I have everything. How many times have you have I considered renaming Hello Dave to avoid the misunderstanding? <laughs> um, I considered that at the beginning when people began to get confused about it, but now it's kind of a standing joke, and I kind of like the fact that some people um, still get confused about it, and then everybody who knows they kind of think it's a bit funny. So it's a it's become a joke now. Uh, so I probably wouldn't rename Hello Dave. No cargo to take it. He's done. And just shouldn't. Exactly. I'm not gonna rename Hello Dave. I liked it the I like it the way it is. Okay. 88, 89, 90, and 91. There we go. Cause I guess renaming Hello Dave. Why? Oh, that's a long story there. Boom. Okay. Just gonna see what he dropped. All the basic conductors. Wow. Okay. So while he's doing that, um, so way, way back when I started doing Hello Dave, um, which is like a year and a half ago now, um, I always wanted it to be called Hello Dave as a tribute to, um, 2001 a space odyssey by kubrick which is also why you can see the thumbnails for all hello dave there is a um, um there's a picture of uh hell 9000 from, uh, from that movie um a lot of people didn't get that reference and they just assumed then um that my name was dave and that was why i called it hello dave so people began calling me Dave, and, and it's now a joke, basically, that people call me Dave if they want to, that they can call me Dave if they want to. Um, I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. Exactly. Well, there might... Oh, I don't know if there's a voice pack called Hell. <laughs> change the name of hello dave i'm afraid i can't do that <laughs> yeah we also have a name in chat uh oh low wake sidewinders getting lots of low wakes suddenly that's the problem with the kids nowadays they don't know the good films no I actually went in and uh, saw um, 2001 in um, in an IMAX cinema to uh, together with my girlfriend. That is awesome. I mean, if you like that movie and you like like Kubrick's style of making movies, and you get the chance to to actually watch that on a big screen, do it. That is an awesome experience. She just says, haven't watched 2001. You should. Give it a go. It is a... I mean, it's, if you know Kubrick and the type of movies he does, you will get an idea what, what you're <laughs> getting yourself into. Uh, Diamondback Scout. Nah. I 
Oh, take on the ending. That's always so... The ending is really weird. Now, there are people in chat that haven't seen it, so I'm not gonna spoil it, even though it wouldn't be much of a spoiler because, well, the ending is a little interesting. But I'm not gonna spoil it for, for the people who haven't watched it. Um, but yeah, I know the, the ending... <sighs> I, I think it's a reference to some kind of reincarnation kind of thing that's going on there at the at the end, but it would kind of like if that is the case, I like to think that's the case because it kind of makes the movie like so well rounded that you kind of go all the way back to to where you started at, uh, and uh, yeah, I I think that's that's the idea. But I mean, we can discuss that for days and we won't be able to come up with a definitive answer. <laughs> oh well, all the ships are spawning in. We've got an explorer. I think I want to try and focus on the. We've got all the adults joining in as well. I want to wait for some proper transport ship. I'm tired of like getting twenty diamonds at a time. We'd rather go and wait for something that has a decent cargo. <laughs> My god, it's full of procedurally generated stuff. Low temps, yeah, we're hunting low temperature diamonds. Oh, where are we even? I haven't looked at this. Okay, we're in a good position here. Considering trying to, to wow, all the crate phantoms. This is a crate fest. No pun intended. Hey, he had a manifest scanner on. Get out of here! This is this is my diamonds. <laughs> Wait, is this a wing? Yeah, I know, the guy who, uh, with the, the voice of hell died, yeah, I know, it's really sad. Mr. Clarkson? <laughs> Come on. Now we're getting some Cobras. Gotta move a little bit closer to the star. Federal dropship. <laughs> but I mean, even with this fairly unlucky run, um, as we had this, I mean, we've been out here almost an hour now, 
And this has been a pretty unlucky run. We had a type 9 run away from us, and we had some... Uh, yeah, type to refuel and restock. It might be... I mean, we still got almost 100. Um, and this is probably going to end up paying us, what, 60 or something? 60 million? Which is for an hour's work, not bad. Oh, type 7. And he's coming in from the from the planet behind us, which is one of the mining planets. Or one of the ring planets, and he's flying in towards us. Cargo hatch, multi cannons, pulse lasers, power plants. No mining equipment. Heal back. Also flying towards us. Nah. Another one. Another empty one. <laughs> Viking Sale says, hello and good to see my favorite Dane, hello and welcome. That's really unlucky, two transport ships. <laughs> Dr. F <laughs> Dr. Finger Moon. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Should we... Is it too late to interdict this guy? No. You know what? We're gonna interdict him. And just to uh, to see if anything happens. I mean... Who knows? We might be lucky. Oh god, that's a planet. Let's try not to fly into that, maybe? Wait, did I get the scan? No, I didn't. Ah, release too early. Scan complete. Yeah, see? Bit of food, bit of crop. But... We leave no witnesses. Yeah, well, it pretty much just confirms that they need to have mining equipment on board before they actually have anything. I'm just gonna get out of the gravity well. Um, we don't want to be sitting inside this when uh, when we're starting our interdictions. So, um...
a hauler. Oh, type six. <laughs> Look at that. Cannon rail guns, you see him. Jab, shoot boosters. That thing is just specked up for combat. Just, just our luck. Come on. Type 7. Okay, he's in a wing. No binding equipment again. It's Soviet Russia. Type 6 interdict you. Yes. Okay, we will out the gravity well now. Oh, whoa! Type 9! I was just sitting there reading chat and then suddenly uh, Type 9 appears. Mr. Bob! Mr. Bob with a mining laser. Ooh. How nice of you to drop by. How is he doing for point defense? He has two point defenses. That's going to be interesting. He disappeared. Why do they do that? Where did he go? There's no wakes. I would have his name on it if I saw his wake. See, just like that, that one. I managed to scan him fully, so I would have his name if he low waked. Behind me. Oh, there he is. No, he's right there. Oh god, he's almost at the planet. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to catch him in time. Okay, we are in range. Let's get behind him. I'm sitting here spamming that interdictor. Get behind target. Yeah! What? The hell? Okay. Okay, we have a type six with mining lasers on instead. That will have to do. Yeah, NPC combat locked. <laughs> yeah, he must have dropped at the interdiction, but I dropped at the station. It's just weird that I didn't get a uh, didn't get a wake where he dropped either. Okay, let's begin to turn around for this type six here. And there we go. He passed me there. Stay in the turn. Oh, the jitters. The jitters. Oh, oh there we go. B 
bit of turbulence there. Space turbulence, that is. Oh, come on. So close. Okay, he turns. Let's have a quick look at him. One point defense. Let's see if we can get it down. As we do a manifest scan. Just gonna do two hands here on the stick. We can move pips and fire all our weapons at the same time. Okay, we need to overload his point defense then. Is he running? Oh, I didn't reload the small ones. Great. Oh, now he's coming back. Yeah, point defense is down. Hopefully not too much else. And chaff. He still has his railgun. So he should still fight us. Did I get a... Did I get a tie manifest scan on? Oh, right. okay. I don't know. Let's see what comes out. There should be some diamonds in there. There we go. So five came out on that one hack there. Why not kill his engines? Because if we kill his engines, he'll begin spinning randomly in space and just fly out in the middle of nowhere. And we have to chase him down and try to stop him. Because he'll, he'll basically, it's the, if we kill his engines, it's the same if he enables um, flight assist off. So if we kill his engines, he will not come to a standstill like he is now. He will just be tumbling through space. Which makes it very difficult to steal his stuff. Kill him or you're important to the authorities. <laughs> Which authorities? We're an anarchy system, but we're gonna kill him anyway. And the shields of this ship is pretty good. I'll show you. Look at that. <laughs> Five and a half thousand shields. I mean, he can shoot at that for days. It's be fun to stream the original Elite from uh, from 84. You can get it for free on, uh, on the Frontier Store, if you have Elite, that is. But I assume most of you have. No cargo detected. He's empty. Yeah, this real gun spamming. I know. Oh. Oh, no, you don't. Ah, good. I think he managed to catch him, so he's staying in the fight now. Come on, last limpet. There we go.
Oh, he managed to get out just before he hit his engines. Yeah, he high waked. How far are we? 119. See, we can't get one good. We'd really like to get a jump on a uh, on a Type 7 or Type 9. No, this last one here has been really, uh, really unlucky. Oh, Anaconda. Where did the Anaconda go? Fiddle Assault Ship. Probably in a wing with the two couriers. No, nope. not all NPCs have diamonds. I would love to try and scan that anaconda, but I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's coming in behind me right now. Dragon King. Definitely, definitely sounds like a mining ship, right? Nope. No mining. I don't think, uh, no, just scan range is pretty much the same, I think. Oh. Ah, we don't get anything soon. I guess we'll just head back with the 190 that we got. 19, not 90. Fuel at 30%. Yeah, I know. Like 80 light years is a little bit more than this ship likes in terms of cell distance. Um, no, nope, keel back. Wait, who's interdicting me? Oh, that's the anaconda. Uh-oh. I didn't have anything either.
There's pirate the pirate, yeah. A beluga liner? Really? Submit the hatch, break him. Chicken pirate. We don't want to get pirated by other pirates. We're here to pirate, not to be pirated. Uh, come on. Give me something to shoot at. Or, well, steal from. Closer we to the star, 400. I want to move a little closer actually. Oh, lots of stuff to spawn. Scouts. <laughs> There's my heal back from before. Two scouts. I don't want to do these small ones. A little picky when it comes to my ships right now. Eye Eagle. Probably not a mining ship. Okay, this should be pretty good. Dolphin. For a while and no CTD. Yeah, to mount the system and back in, that may be, but normally we do should be able to reset the instance just when we drop down. I'm not, not sure if that has anything to, to do about it. Panaconda. Okay, should we really go for that scout? How far away is he? Okay, he's actually right behind me right now. Just because nothing else is showing up. He does have a mining laser. Drop this guy. It's better than nothing. And it gives us a session instance, a session reset. Completed the scan. 21. That's actually not bad for a, uh, for a scout. Let's see what he's, uh, he's fitted with. Uh, two beam lasers. I don't, I'll just tank those. Is he turning around or is he still running away? Oh no, here we go. Now he's turning in to fight me.
There we go. Yeah, not quite many. And uh, welcome, by the way. <laughs> um, because we're selling these off to the black market. Um, so we only get uh, around 760. Only 760,000 per ton. But, I mean, it's still 15 million. Yeah, exactly. Stolen stuff. Um, well, you can always take the price of opals and then subtract 25%. Then you got the price of what they would be selling for on the black market. But... Oh, cargo hatch. Ah. Yes, piracy is very profitable. Um, I had a run earlier at the stream. At the first ship we got was a Type 9. And he had over 200 tons of diamonds. I filled up my cargo hold, went back, made 158 million in about 40 minutes. Yeah, that was that was a pretty good run. This one has been a little bit more time consuming. Yes, the um, the regular commodity market price correlates with the black market price. So if you can, so let's let, so have a look at these. You can see low temperature diamond sells a galactic average of let's say a hundred thousand. So, but so if I went to a station on on average, I would get around seventy five thousand per diamond because twenty five percent of the hundred thousand seventy five thousand left. But because we're selling at a station with a um, buy price of about a million or just over a million we get 760,000 I'm not sure if it's empty Okay, he's empty. <laughs> How do they know they stole it? It has a stolen sticker on it. Whenever you steal something, you always remember to take your small stolen stickers, like the big red ones, and you put it right on the crate so people know that is stolen cargo. I think it's too close. The missile is not really getting armed. Okay. Die! Got to get some distance so my missiles can actually manage to ch charge up and arm before uh, before they hit him. Here, eat some missiles. Eat more. Target shields online and goodbye. Wee, okay, did we get anything? Chemical processors, configurable components. Oh. The limpage take that. Yes, definitely prismatics. <laughs> so we could just sit here and tank him for days. 
I think I'm gonna head back with the even though we don't have a full cargo hold. Um, I'm gonna head back now mainly because I think it's uh it's time to begin to route this thing off. I made a bit of a mess of this last run here. Forgot to move my cargo hatch and all kinds of stupid stuff. Um, question is, can we make it back? Or do we need to... Uh... Oh god. We can only make it one jump. Okay, if we synthesize, then we can actually make it. All the way. So to synthesize one there. Be flying back on fumes here. <laughs> so, this run should be around a hundred million, I think. So, two hundred and fifty million for two and a half hours. So, around a hundred million an hour. I really should try to do a build with uh, with room for a fuel scoop. That would really be nice to increase the range because actually jumping a lot more than I would like to. Get ready to call the fuel rats. Nah, I'll be good. That's not a lot of fuel. <laughs> We're really running on fumes here. Yeah, we need we need to synthesize one more time. Damn, do we have enough fuel to make it to the station? <laughs> do we want me to call the fuel rats? No, no. Ooh, wicked saved. Thanks a lot for the... Uh, the, the 20 Swedish kroner uh, super chat. Awesome stuff, man. Oh, wicked screwed? 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 Wicked sweet? I don't know. Life is a gamble. Turn off secondary modules. Yeah, we're gonna go in. Uh, we're gonna take the station closest to us. There we go. Boy, that delayed. Oh no! Look at that. We have a uh, we have a pirate insistent try to stay, take our stuff. I don't have time for this. Okay, what can we turn off? Okay, never mind. Oh, damn, come on. What is he flying? Oh, wonderful. He's in a mamba. Okay, avoid the interdiction.
Oh no, I'm not looking at chat. I'm gonna overshoot. Oh, that's not a lot of fuel. So cargo hold full of diamonds, running out of fuel, running into a system where I'm hostile and I need to sign and run in. This is going to be interesting. Come on. Loop of alignment. Yeah, we just need to align up with the port here. Okay, we are below the speed limit here, so we can now begin to throttle up and drop in. Okay. Okay, we're still running nice and cold here. Too many ships around me for my comfort, so especially the guys behind me is getting making me a little worried here. Oh wow, heat is building up quickly in this thing. Ah, perfect. And then just a very gentle landing. Beautiful. Now look innocent. Touchdown, ground crew dispatch. Ah. Station facilities are at your disposal. Oh wow. We are up in this Yeah, about a hundred mil. Nice. So that was about 260 million worth of credits made in, well, I'm speaking for about an hour and a half. It was a pretty good run, uh, definitely profitable. Um, it is, from this at least, it seems that it is at least got to get close to what you can do on, uh, on passenger missions and also close to what you can do on Opals. It's about the same, it might be slightly lower. And there's a lot more RNG in this than uh, there is in uh, in the other. There's, the, there's a little bit the Opals. I mean, the passenger missions is definitely the most consistent one. Um, as you can see with the East, you can get really, really lucky, or you can get really, really unlucky. Um, but again, it it just adds. It just adds some more interesting ways to go out and make money rather than just run the same passenger missions over and over again i mean there's a lot more gameplay there's a lot more in player engagement around doing something like this um so i actually think it's 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 great that it's there and i mean it, it builds on the same concepts as the opal mining um <clears throat> and as we discussed in the last stream frontier has uh, has already um has already said that 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 is just as they were they're not planning to nerf anything regarding the prices of these materials so it seems that this is actually where it is that means that we're in an interesting situation right now where we have multiple methods in the game that allows you to make up and around the 100 million um pretty awesome i think i think it's nice that we have the um, that we can actually have uh, multiple uh, ways to go so if you don't like pirates or don't like to pirate them or if you don't like to mine or if you don't like to go and do passive missions you have an opportunity to do something uh, something else but anyway <clears throat> I think I'm gonna call it for uh, for today 
As always, of course, I'll be hanging out over on Discord after. I just quickly want to mention here before we end, I'm just looking for a link here, that, um, oh, no, that was not what I wanted. Stop! Uh, here we go. That I am running a giveaway this week, and this is the third week that I'm running one of four. Um, and I'm giving away some uh, some stuff from Logitech because they asked me if I want to help them give away stuff. So, if you want a chance to win a... What is it this week? It is a Logitech G502 Hero Gaming Mouse. Then I'll post a link for you guys on YouTube and on Twitch. There you go. So you can go and you can sign up for that. Um, winners will be drawn on Sunday. And I will announce the winners on Monday in Hello Dave. And th that is also where I will be posting links for next week's um giveaway and next week is the big one next week it is let me get the model number correct this time it is the g903 so they're top of the line let it takes top of the line gaming mouse that's giving away next week so remember to uh, to tune in for that um let me just get over here so thanks a lot for uh, for watching guys it was fun um it was really good to get some testing done on this um to get it probably validated um a bit of a shame that we had an unlucky run here at the end and had some unlucky strikes with that uh, with that type nine really boxed me that type nine that got away that could have made uh we could pretty much cut off for like 20 minutes off the run if uh, we had managed to capture that but anyway i hope you enjoyed today's stream and um if you did go down and give it a like and if you're on Twitch, remember to uh, to follow over there and subscribe on YouTube if you want more Elite Dangerous content, Elite Dangerous live streams. I also stream X4 and also do cover um, many, many other games. So uh, I hope you'll drop by YouTube also and have a look over there. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.